Welcome to Engineering Fanatics. Today we are starting a new course on structural analysis. So the first section that we are going to deal is introduction to structural analysis. Let's start. As civil engineers or normal humans, we come across various man-made structures around us in our daily life. These can be simple structures that they, you see around like electric poles or complex ones like high-rise buildings and dams. So one thing that you must keep in mind is to understand that whatever be the structure, how small, how, how big they are, they are subjected to certain kind of load. Now talking about loads, these structures can be subjected to concentrated or uniform loads, random loads, internal or external pressures and more seriously the dynamic loads like wind and earthquake loads. The success of any civil engineer is when he or she designs a structure which can sustain well when subjected to the external loads in that particular site condition. So let's start what is analyzing a structure. Structural analysis is a topic that is taught in our civil engineering course in different semesters. It initially starts with engineering mechanics, then to strength of materials and then finally to structural analysis part 1 and part 2. In most of the students face this as a biggest nightmare during their civil engineering or BTEC academics. But when you understand the real concept in how structural analysis is, you can really solve the problems and you can really take the subject as one of your best companion for civil engineering studies. A civil engineering structure is a structure that transfers the load that is coming over it to the supports and ultimately to the ground. So when I explain or divide the process of how you study structural analysis in your first year or in your first starting of BTEC in civil engineering the first introduction topic to structural analysis is engineering mechanics in this course a civil engineering structure is treated as a single rigid body and we determine the reactions from the support so this is the first step of structural analysis which is taught in detail in engineering mechanics so here we actually consider any civil engineering structure as a single rigid body and we convert that into free body diagrams. I've also made a video on what are free body diagrams which will be given in the card below or in the description below. So engineering mechanics, what you study is to consider any civil engineering structure as a rigid body and you find out how reactions are coming on that particular body. Once you study engineering mechanics, the next subject that was introduced to you was strength of materials. When a body is subjected to external loads or reactions from the support, the body undergoes some sort of changes in its behavior. Now what kind of changes is in the case of deformation or in the case of deflection? So what is the behavior of a material under these external conditions? So this is studied in strength of materials, which is another important topic in civil engineering. So after you have a basic knowledge about engineering mechanics and strength of material, you move into structural analysis part 1 and then to part 2. So now after you get a clear idea on what is engineering mechanics and strength of materials, we step on to structural analysis. All these loads and support reactions that are acting on the structure will create some sort of internal stresses in the body. Now these internal stresses are the most commonly heard and used word in civil engineering that are the shear force, the bending moment and the torsional moment. Now the structural analysis deals with the analysis of these internal forces in the members of the structure. The topic structural analysis is vast as there are vast type of structures of different materials and complex arrangement. 
structures are categorized under different categories based on which different analysis methods are followed for different structures sometimes a structure can be analyzed by two analysis method both the method can give you the same answer but sometimes for a structure a method a is considered more easy when compared to method b even though both the method gives the best answer or the same answer so let's start understanding structural analysis purely as a real time problem solving method instead of just by hearting it as a mathematical problem solving process so this really helps you to connect to real time structures in the construction site and become clear and knowledgeable civil engineer hope this video brought a basic introduction to what is structural analysis and filled up the voids that you have about structural analysis so i'll come with the part 2 which really move into the concepts regarding structural analysis and see you in the next video regards and subscribe to engineering fanatics